Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So I feel like I haven't done a really good rant in a very long time. Like I've done videos that I've categorized as rants, but like I haven't done one where I got really heated and really angry and like I just feel like I need to bring that back. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, you've read the title, you know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about smokers and why I absolutely hate that habit. Why, to me, that is probably one of the worst habits to have and why I think so. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. I make anywhere from rant videos like this to topic videos to pop socket videos. And with all that being said, let's get into this week's video. So, I think we can all agree that smoking is bad for you. If you do not think that smoking is bad for you, I'm here to tell you that smoking is bad for you. But that's not the reason why I think it's the worst habit because there are lots of things in this world that are bad for you. Junk food is bad for you and alcohol is bad for you and all these other things. But smoking to me, is the worst because it doesn't just affect you. It affects people around you. For example, have you ever heard of this thing called secondhand smoke? Well, that means that if you smoke around people, it is also affecting those people. If you smoke in your car and then you let other people come into your car even after you've thrown that cigarette out the window, all those people are inhaling the smoke that has seeped its way into the your seats and all that stuff. And so I think that people who smoke are very inconsiderate, like the most inconsiderate people of the people that I've met. Like if I had to generalize a group of people, I would say that smokers are the most inconsiderate. Why? Because you're choosing to smoke. You're choosing to potentially give yourself lung cancer. You're choosing to most definitely take years off your life. You're choosing to smoke. Meanwhile, I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing to have healthy lungs. I'm choosing to live a healthy lifestyle. I'm a track athlete. I work out for upwards of six hours a day. Like, I I'm choosing to be healthy, right? I do, I do that cardio, trying to keep that heart and lung health, all that good stuff. But then I end up with lung cancer. Why? Because I go to a university campus where like half the people there smoke. So it's like I do everything in my power to be healthy, but because I kind of have no choice but to be surrounded by smokers because I'm trying to increase my education, now one day I'm 52 and I go for my annual checkup and I have lung cancer. And so the thing is, if and when your smoking catches up with you, that's your fault. Like, you can't blame anybody but yourself. I don't care if this person got you into smoking. This person gave you your first cigarette. Too bad. You accepted the first cigarette. So the only person that you can blame is yourself. But you see, when my health starts to decline because I'm walking around a university campus that has smokers everywhere, that's not fair to me. I didn't make the life choice to smoke. Yes, I made the life choice to go to post-secondary, but going to post-secondary shouldn't mean that my life gets shortened because half the campus smokes. Going to university, the only thing that I should get from university is a degree. I didn't go to university to receive lung cancer. I went to university to receive a degree. And the thing is, no other habit that I can think of off the top of my head affects other people in that way. And previously I mentioned drinking, right? Yes, there are people who do bad things when drunk, but if you're standing here and I'm standing here and you are consuming alcohol, does that affect my liver? No, so I don't care. But if you're standing here and I'm standing here and you are smoking a cigarette, does that affect my lungs? 
Yes! So that's the issue. Yes, some people do bad things while drinking alcohol, but the actual physical alcohol, the actual physical consumption of alcohol doesn't do anything to me. It only does something to you, so I don't care. Do you affect your liver all you want? But you smoking around me affects my lungs. It affects me directly. What you are choosing to do to yourself, you're also doing it to me. And that's not fair. If you want to choose lung cancer, that's fine. If you want to choose black lungs, that's fine. If you want to choose asthma, that's fine. If you want to choose to die at 42, that's fine. But I'm not choosing any of those things. So stop choosing for me. And you want to know the thing that gets me the most? is when people smoke around athletic facilities. Like, as previously mentioned, I am a track athlete. And while it is currently winter, we are training indoors, but during the spring and summer, we are outside. And so back in September when the school year just started and it was still warm outside, me and my team, we were practicing outside. And sometimes there were people who would be smoking right by the track. So there's the track and then there's a fence. So it's a fenced off facility, but like we all know what a fence looks like. It's not a barrier, there's holes in fences, right? So me and my friends were just doing our warm up, we're doing some drills, whatever, whatever and we smell something. We all know what a cigarette smells like. And then we turn around and then there's two people smoking right there. And it's like, li literally, these are people who run for a living. And I don't know if I can say for a living. None of us are professional, none of us make money, but you know what I mean? Like we run every day. And lungs, functioning lungs are kind of important when you run. So why did you think of all the places in the world that you are allowed to smoke? Because smoking is legal. So of all the places that you could smoke, you chose to smoke beside people who probably value their lungs the most? Like of all the people, like I'm pretty sure everyone values their lungs. You can't live without lungs. I would argue that smokers value their lungs less because they're choosing to damage them, but whatever. I would assume that most humans care about their lungs, but especially someone who needs their lungs for their like future career. Like if you have bad lungs, you can't run, which means you can't pursue this sport, which means stop right now, quit. So what's like, why of all the places you could smoke? Why beside a track? I feel like people don't think, like you have the whole university campus and your dumb self decided that you were gonna smoke beside the track where athletes are training, people who care about their health are training and you're gonna light a cigarette. What, what word did I use earlier in this video? Oh right, inconsiderate. You care about getting your neck smoke more than you care about the 50 people who are trying to partake in their physical activity of the day. And to anybody who's watching this who may be a smoker, I don't want to hear like, oh, it's an addiction, it's a habit, it's hard to break. I get that. But like my main question is, how did you get into smoking in the first place? Because you can't be addicted to something if you never start it. And as I said at the beginning of this video, everybody knows that smoking is bad for them. So you can't tell me, oh, the first time I started cigarettes, I didn't know it was bad for me. But then by the time I figured out that it was bad for me, I was already addicted. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. So how did you get addicted in the first place? Why did you start? Like, was it to be cool in high school or I don't know reasons why people do things, peer pressure, I don't know. But you have this addiction, but your addiction doesn't just affect you, it affects people around you. I'm not addicted to smoking and yet I probably have some side effects of tobacco from secondhand smoke. So you're slowly dying because you're choosing to smoke and you're also slowly killing everybody that you're around. Do you realize that? Like, you, you claim that you love your friends and your family. You do realize every time you light a cigarette around them, you're taking 11 minutes off their life. 
So right now, it seems like you care more about your addiction than your friends and family. Just saying. And I know that this might be a little harsh, but I don't really care because it bothers me so much. As I've said, I am walking around a university campus five days a week and so many of those people smoke. It'll be a blizzard. A couple months ago, we had a whiteout, which is basically so much snow that all you see is white. And there were people who were going outside smoking. So I'm walking through campus in this whiteout trying to find my car, and then I just get whoosh tobacco, whoosh tobacco. Like, literally, when I walk past people who are smoking, I purposely cough. Like, I want you to know that I know that you're smoking. Like, I'm just, like, walking by. <coughs> <coughs> like, I'm gonna let you know. I don't know why. It's just bothering me. It's always bothered me, but now it's especially bothering me because it's every day it's every day that i'm going outside and holding my breath because i know that there's going to be like 474.6 people smoking outside that building that i need to get to for my next class and it's just it's annoying and it's not just university students it's adults and it's teenagers and it's everybody everybody who smokes can you just not and if you do can you do it somewhere where literally no one else is because i i don't need it I don't need it, small children don't need it, athletes don't need it, nobody needs it. Your grandma doesn't need it, your girlfriend doesn't need it, nobody needs it, so stop it. Like, if you want to smoke, I can't tell you not to do that, because it is legal. So if you are of age, I cannot tell you not to. But I can request that you not do it around other people. Because if you are going to choose to shorten your own life, there's nothing I can do about that. But you are making the decision to shorten my life, and that's not fair. So I'm gonna need you to stop that. Because you are deciding how long I'm gonna live, and that's not up to you. So stop shortening my life. So yeah, that's it. That's all I really have to say. Sorry if I offended anyone. If I did offend anyone, it's probably a smoker, so you needed to hear this. So am I really that sorry? I don't know. But, um, yeah, if you are offended, it's because I, like, nothing I said in this video isn't true. Secondhand smoke kills people. People die of lung cancer from secondhand smoke. People get asthma because of secondhand smoke. These are all true things. I'm not lying just because you don't want to confront the issue and you're upset that I confronted the issue that's not really on me but yeah that's it that's all I wanted to say I wanted to do a true rant I wanted to talk about something that I was passionate about and that I could get heated about and put it in video format so that's what I did um <laughs> so yeah that's all for this week's video I hope you enjoyed it Maybe you agreed with some stuff I had to say. Maybe you know someone else that needs to see this video. So be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with that person. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they are down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. And I'll see you next Monday with a new video.